So earlier on Instagram, I posted a really super quick reading of this card. Um, and I wanted to just do a slightly longer reading here so that I could go into a bit more detail. So um, basically, the deck that I chose was the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck, which is my current favorite actually at the moment because it's so bright and cheerful. Um, and I just, I just love the images and I really resonate with them. Um, and I think it's an easy deck for people that aren't familiar with tarot to, um, to resonate with as well. And I like when I'm doing a reading, I like for, um, you know, my client or my audience to also be able to read into the card and get their own messages from it at the same time, because I think tarot is, um, really very intuitive and very personal. And so it's not for me when I read the cards, it's not so much about what the textbook version of that card is it's about what leaps out and speaks to me that day at that particular moment in time and I could pull the exact same card the next day and do a very very different reading um, which would be affected by um, by my intuition that day basically um, how how I'm feeling in regard to the question or the person that I'm doing the reading for um, and I think that's really important. So I think it's important to, to also, um, as the viewer, as you know, as the the audience, to look into the cards and pull your own messages out of it as well. Um, because the more empowered you are in terms of um, getting your own answers, the more you will be able to independently help yourself, which can only be a good thing. So the question that I wanted to ask was, um, you know, we've all been cooped up. Um, inside with each other for quite a while now, yeah, for kind of six weeks. And um, we've never spent quite so much time with each other, you know, certainly not on broken time. I think we've probably only really been on holiday and spent that amount of intense time with each other. Um, and obviously every household will differ, you know, in the household where people are still working and they're having to show up for work, just doing it from home, then maybe you haven't spent quite so much time with each other, but you're just still you know, being cooped up in the same space and you won't have been able to go and do the, um, the various things that you normally do in the day that kind of break, break things up, shift energy and help you to just get rid of funky energy. You know, we all get funky energy. We have a bad day or, you know, we have a bad phone call or, you know, something upsets us, something triggers us and bang, off we go and we just need to discharge. And we're used to, you know, being able to tread it out on the pavement somehow, whether we go for a walk or we go to the gym or we go shopping or we go get a coffee um, or we go and meet up with a friend. You know, we, we, we're used to being able to go and walk these things off and now we can't, now we're stuck with them. And so, you know, um, emotions have been running high and um, energetically we're all a bit different right now we're all a bit sensitive we're all a bit more triggered than usual and different things are getting to us and we're worrying about different things some of us will be worrying about money and finances and how the heck we're going to pay our rent or you know um buy our food for the next month um some of us will be worrying about our health and um you know the fact that that's been put on hold and we can't go to like normal doctor's visits and have normal tests checks and tests and stuff and maybe you know our health um really needs that walk in the sunshine every day and we're not able to get that right now so we have health concerns maybe we're worried about the health of other people as well and worrying about those that we love and not being close to them not being able to see them not being able to spend time with them that could trigger us too um especially if we're worried about people who are on their own at the moment and who who aren't living with anybody else um and we're worried about them because they're elderly or they're sick or they're, you know, just people that aren't really um, used to being on their own that much. And so, you know, I mean, even even people that are really happy with being on their own, you know, six weeks is a long time with no real people contact apart from maybe if you go out to the shops to buy some food. Um, so, you know, there's lots of people in our lives at the moment that need our support and understanding and we're all being triggered by different things. So the card that I pulled is the Three of Pentacles and the question, to remind you again, is how can I best support those who are around me right now, those who are closest to me? So I'm, I'm kind of thinking more about those who are living in your house, but your house could also 
um, refer to those who are in your kind of like spiritual or energetic house. So that could be friends and family members who aren't with you right now, but they reside in your heart and your mind. And so, you know, they, they can also be relevant to you. So just apply this to, to whoever you want to in that regard. Um, and basically, so the answer in this card is, okay, so we're inside a beautiful chapel and there's a man standing on a bench and he is chiseling away at the stone, creating, we would imagine, a beautiful sculpture for this beautiful chapel. So he's an artist and he is hard at work and he is passionately involved in his creation. Yeah, and it's taking up a lot of his time um, and a lot of his focus, but you know, we give, we, he's building a beautiful chapel for everybody to enjoy and appreciate and live in. So, um, you know, I could say, right, okay, so this man, this man is you, yeah, this man is us. And he is an artist and he is inside carving away at his own chapel. So that's, that's take this chapel in this instance to be the chapel of your heart or the chapel of your soul or the chapel of your mind, yeah? But it's your, it's your spiritual home. So however you relate to self-development and self-healing, wherever that sits for you in your body energetically and whatever you kind of like call it or see it as, yeah? It's saying, you know, this person is hard at work polishing that yeah he's creating a a um a structure of beauty a thing of beauty out of just plain old stone yeah he's making something out of nothing yeah so he's taking the situation or a situation whether that's his own personal emotional situation or whether that is the world situation yeah, and it's like a it's like a clean plate, a blank slate, and he's trying to make something beautiful out of it. So he's trying to make the best of the situation. Yeah, he's trying to kind of like make the best of either his own self and that situation, or you know the the world situation that he's in right now that we're all in, and trying to you know turn that into a positive experience, make something good out of it. And the, then there's the other two characters. Um, one of them looks like a priest or a monk because a monk even yes because he's got you know the monk's haircut whatever so this is a serious person this is a spiritual person this is a person who it's like it's his house as well if we're in the chapel isn't it so it's like you were there um as as a helper as an employee in a sense helping him with his chapel so that basically says that, okay, so if you are the man on the bench, yeah, you are the artist, you are the creator, you are the person that is doing the healing here, yeah, so you're kind of turning this chapel into a beautiful place of worship that everybody else can come to and enjoy and receive healing from. And so, you know, the, the monk, um, it's like he, he might be, that might be the person who is the home, the home owner, yeah, it's their chapel, or maybe it's the, and that could be the physical home. So maybe that's your partner, yeah, and they are the person that pays the bills, that earns the most money, and it's their home. Yeah, it's like your home together, but it's their home in that respect. And so it's like you're doing the work, making that a beautiful space, yeah, in whatever way that you are. And, um, and this, and, and, and in doing so, you're helping the person that you're living with, yeah, in that situation. Um, and then, then there's the other person, the person in the cloak, dressed up, and it's like that's more of a childlike energy, um, because it's almost like they're in fancy dress, they're wearing like kind of like a jester's costume. So maybe that's an animal, maybe that's a child, yeah? That's like a younger person. Could be a younger sibling or a younger friend even, depending on who you're living with or who you consider to be residing in your home space, yeah? remembering that that home space could be in your heart, in your mind, or in your soul. But the important thing here is that, um, that they are all here and they are all looking to you, yeah? And um, the, the, if we're looking at the colors that these people are wearing, yeah? So the child energy or the animal energy, they are dressed in red and yellow. So red is all about grounding and roots. So you can help that person by helping them to be more grounded, yeah? Giving them some 
sense of connection with the world yeah and with their body yeah so even though you can't go outside so you're feeling disconnected from the world even though maybe they're not really exercising as much because you can't go outside so you're not you know able to do your normal activities go for a walk go to school etc etc um you can help that person by helping them to be more grounded and work on their roots so whatever you can do in that regard yeah maybe it's like playing with them or teaching them yoga or getting them to like you know jump up and down and, and do a silly dance or something um you know what whatever activity you can do to help that person feel more grounded maybe it is um creating a kind of like a a substitute garden inside yeah like you know trying to make a, a fake garden a make make believe garden or growing some seeds or plants or you know whatever be creative think outside the box but like you know basically helping that person have some temporary form of outside and nature inside yeah in whatever way that kind of like um opens out for you as you sit and think on it so maybe kind of journal on that and see what comes up and then there's the yellow so the yellow is all about intuition so basically it's like trust your intuition trust your gut what what is it telling you that that person needs and then do that and try and make time for that person um so so that you can support them um could also be like that character is holding um some paper in their hands yeah so maybe that's like the child that needs help with their schoolwork. Um, and it's just saying, you know, don't be too busy on your own stuff all the time. T you know, just t turn around and take time for them as well, that they need your attention. And that's how you can best support them and help them. Um, and then the other character is all dressed in kind of like gray and it's almost like he looks like he's part of the chapel. He looks like he's part of the stonework. Um, you know, if it wasn't for his head, he could, he wouldn't really show up at all. He would blend in. So it's like the way that you can best help him is to basically respect the house, respect the chapel, um, do as much work as you can on that. And in doing so, you will in turn help him, um, and, and let him, let him do his own stuff, um, separately and get on with his way it's like you know he's gray at the moment he's not particularly colorful so um it's not it's not like you need to lean into him and do stuff for him um personally um by interacting i think the best way to support him right now is to focus on the the chapel yeah so whether that is um, you can best support him by doing your own personal healing work and healing yourself or maybe it's just by taking care of your home and keeping it clean and tidy and making it as you know beautiful and cheerful as you can um, or maybe it's just you know in respecting that that he has a job to do and he's hard at work and his job is very serious and it caters to lots of people because you know if he's a monk um, and this is his like chapel his monastery then um and it you know he looks like he's a he's a monk who has authority who's in charge of stuff then you know he has he has people that he needs to serve um and so he can't be giving you all of his time and so the way that you can best help him is is by helping him in that pursuit by supporting him by not being needy or demanding by basically just taking care of of, of your his chapel um, which is in turn your chapel. So, um, you know, and also um, I think just one last point that because this, you know, the, the artisan in, in the image is standing on a bench, yeah? so they have to be elevated somehow in order to see the work that they need to do in order to reach that space. So think about the fact that you might need to get in contact with your higher self in order to get the answers you need. Or you might just need to look at it from a different vantage point. So don't look at things from ground, from the ground, yeah, from floor level, which is where you, 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 you know, you usually are, and where you, you kind of like assess the world from normally and make your decisions from. So you need to go up. You need to be higher up, elevate yourself a bit. So not from the ego, but from a higher space. And a higher space could just be from your heart space, or it could be contacting, connecting with your higher self or even with your guides, yeah? So just think about that. It's like, don't just look at it 
as you would do normally in a kind of black and white way. You need to, to look at it from a different vantage point so that it looks different to you all of a sudden. And you go, ah, okay. Looking at things from above, I can see that these are the problems here. This is what isn't quite working out. Or this is, you know, why these people need extra love and support right now. And, and then you can come back down again and help them more easily. So I hope that was helpful to you. And um, I'll post a new video soon.